It's not powertrains. It's that we're going from an analog to a digital product. And that is a complete game changer on how people use cars and, and what a trip is going to be. Did you know that Ford has produced some of the rarest pickup trucks in automotive history? From limited production numbers to unique features, these trucks have a story to tell. Let's check it out. The Ford Bantam Get ready for a revolution in the pickup truck world. The Ford Bantam is a beloved model in South Africa. The new version hit the markets later in 2022, and it was infused with the Volkswagen DNA thanks to Ford's new global alliance. Riding on the compact A0 architecture shared with the new midsize Ford Ranger in AW Amarok, the 2022 Bantam promises to be a game changer. Under the hood, expect a choice of powerful engines. A 1.5-liter three-cylinder EcoBoost engine with 180 horsepower is the standard, with an optional 2.0-liter turbo 4 delivering 250 horsepower. With an 8-speed automatic transmission and optional all-wheel drive, this truck is designed for performance. In terms of design, the new Bantam is inspired by the Ford Volkswagen Alliance, giving it a rugged and bold appearance. While the interior mostly remains the same, Ford introduced a new entertainment system and optional driver assistance features, ensuring a comfortable and connected driving experience. Overall, the 2022 Ford Bantam shook up the pickup truck market, offering a blend of power, technology, and style that's short to turn heads. In South Africa, there's a thriving market for coupe utility pickups like Bantam. These trucks are prized for their affordability, compact size, and fuel efficiency. They offer a sleek and versatile alternative to the bigger players like Toyota Hilux and Ford Ranger. Unlike their heavy-duty counterparts, which boast a robust steel ladder frame chassis, the Bantam and its kin are built on more nimble monocoque design. This not only makes them lighter and more efficient, but also allows for greater parts compatibility with passenger cars, streamlining production. The engines in these compact pickups are no slouches either. Ranging from 1300cc to 1800cc, they provide ample power for both work and everyday use. Plus, with a load capacity of up to 1800 pounds, they're more than capable of handling the demands of light to medium duty tasks. In a country where versatility and efficiency are key, it's no wonder these half-tonners have carved out their niche, offering a perfect blend of practicality and style for drivers to get the job done without sacrificing on comfort or convenience. Ford Papa Step into the world of Brazilian automotive innovation with a Ford Papa, a coupe utility that redefined the market from 1982 to 1997. Born from the DNA of the Ford Purcell and Ford Del Rey, the Pampa quickly became Brazil's top-selling coupe utility, offering a unique blend of comfort and utility. This is a pickup that combines the comfort of a car with the robustness of a utility vehicle. It boasts a front inspired by the Corcel 2 and a loading bay reminiscent of larger US-style pickups. The Pampa's name, meaning a horse with a well-threshed body, perfectly encapsulates its superior load capacity and rugged design. While other pickups in its class used independent rear suspension, the Pampa stood out with its rigid rear axle and semi-elliptical springs, making it ideal for heavy loads. Powered by a 1.6-liter Corcel engine, the Pampa was perfect for transporting loads up to 1367 pounds. But the Pampa was more than just a workhorse, it was a pioneer, inspiring other brands to enter the market with their derivatives. The introduction of the CHT engine in 1984 gave the Pampa a performance boost, reaching speeds of up to 99 miles per hour. The 1984 model year also saw the debut of a 4x4 version, making the Pampa the only Brazilian pickup derived from a two-wheel drive car to offer four-wheel drive. Despite its rugged capabilities, the Pampa offered a range of comfort and convenience features, making it a versatile choice for both work and everyday use. In a market dominated by larger commercial pickups, the Ford Pampa stood out as a true trailblazer. It offered a winning combination of style, performance, and practicality that captured the hearts of Brazilian drivers. In 1984, the Ford Papa transformed with the introduction of the Ford CHT engine, known for its improved power and fuel efficiency. This upgrade made the Pampa a standout in the world of pickups, especially with the addition of a 4x4 version, a first for Brazilian pickups derived from two-wheel drive cars. Despite the rugged off-road capabilities, externally, the 4x4 version looked similar to its 4x2 counterpart, sporting a squared-off grille and other subtle differences. As the years progressed, the Pampa continued to evolve. In 1986, new models like the L and GL were introduced, followed by a facelift that incorporated the front design from the 4x4 version in 1987. 
The Gia version added luxury features like electric windows, although air conditioning remained optional. By 1989, the Papa offered the larger VW AP1800 engine for certain versions, enhancing its performance. The introduction of the S version in 1991 further elevated the Papa's status. It boasted a top speed of 106 miles per hour and a host of standard features, making it a sought-after model among automotive enthusiasts. With over 350,000 units sold, the Papa left a lasting legacy as a rare and cherished piece of metal automotive history in Brazil. Ford Durango The Ford Durango is a captivating tale of automotive ingenuity and collaboration between Ford and National Coachworks. This two-passenger coupe utility, produced in limited numbers from 1979 to 1982, was not your ordinary pickup. It was born from a desire to compete with the downsized Chevrolet El Camino and was designed to be sold through Ford dealerships. Led by Jim Stephenson and his sons, the creation of the Durango prototype was a labor of love, with custom sheet metalwork and a unique fiberglass pickup bed. The design caught the eye of Hal Koch from National Coachworks, leading to a production deal that resulted in around 200 to 350 units being made. These trucks were not just your average pickups, they were based on the Fairmont Futura Coupe and featured a cleverly designed tailgate that folded down to reveal hidden storage space. Under the hood, the Durango was powered by a reliable 200 cubic inch inline 6 engine paired with a smooth 3 speed automatic transmission. This combination made the Durango both practical and efficient for everyday use. Despite its limited production and short lifespan, the Ford Durango remains a fascinating piece of automotive history. It stands as a testament to innovation and creativity, offering a unique and stylish alternative to pickup trucks. Ford Mercury M250 Crew Cab The Mercury M-Series trucks produced between 1947 and 1968 were a unique part of Ford of Canada's legacy. Essentially rebranded versions of the Ford F-Series trucks, they were manufactured in Oakville, Ontario and San Jose, California. Despite their popularity in their prime, many M-Series trucks fell into disrepair over the years, making finding one today a rare and special occurrence. In Vancouver, British Columbia, an extraordinary find awaited its discovery. What caught his eye was no ordinary vehicle. It was one of only six Ford Mercury M250 crew cab trucks ever manufactured, a true rarity in the world of automobiles. Little did he know, this inquiry would mark the beginning of an extraordinary restoration journey. He salvaged and reused classic parts wherever possible, ensuring that the colors remained true to their original hues. The tire size was also kept as per the specifications from its late 1967 production, maintaining the truck's authentic look and feel. One of the most remarkable aspects of this restoration is the truck retained its original 352 V8 engine, adding to its historical significance. Originally used as a fleet vehicle, the M250 crew cab is believed to have served the forestry service for a significant period. So, which of these are your personal favorites? Let us know in the comments below, like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content. Thanks for watching, until next time.